Well, I see Matt is joining us with a question, but it looks like either the looks like the message may have been cut off or maybe he didn't finish typing it yet. That was an issue with the DP not getting the package from the config manager site server, and that was an error code. Uh, but we didn't get the error code, so it must have been a link or something that's uh, been cut off from YouTube. But in, in general, to troubleshoot a uh, package distribution from Config Manager, that one is not too terrible. Because no matter the package, Config Manager sends them out the same way. So if you go to a site server and you open up the installation folder, in this case, I have it on my E drive, uh, and go to logs. Uh, you have the disk manager log file that is the generic uh, component here on the site server that, that deals with this. But you also have the package transfer manager log file, and that one will show the distribution uh, as the old packages as they are being copied out to the different uh, distribution points. You will see things like block sizes and how, how far they are in the process. Uh, if you have any current packages that are being distributed, I don't have any in my environment at the moment. Um, there is also in the tools folder, this one here, if you go to server tools, I added that back in 1802 or something like that, but you have the DB job manager that utility, and you connect that to your site server. And, and that one will show you also uh, all different uh, the distribution points you have and ongoing up to them. And if there are any problems, etc. if there is a bunch of retries and whatnot, that will show up. So these log files in combined with this one would be where I would start. Uh, all of this information is also available for PowerShell. Um, I was working with one customer a, a while back where uh, in order to save disk space, someone in their wisdom decided to not back up the content library. And then they had to do a restore. He has to learn that, well, it takes a good while for a content library to be built up, and that takes even longer to replicate the, you know, 600 gig content library out to four data center regions around the world. Uh, so we had to write PowerShell scripts we can control the priority better. Um, so all of this is available in PowerShell also. But I, I would start there. Log file and this utility to see what's going on. Uh, sometimes it's it's as simple as, as network issues uh, to that remote distribution point. Uh, but it is the site server. Unless you have a pool DP, it is always the site server sending content to the DPs. Uh, so yeah. I would start there uh, and, and also check the packet sizes. Uh, if you go into your software updates folder and you start to see packages that are like 100 or 200 gigs in size, yeah, it's going to take a while to push that one out there. So keeping those packet sizes small is, is of course, useful. Uh, even breaking them up, so you have one package for client updates, you have one for server updates, you have one for office updates. Uh, you can skip completely to have packages for, for definitions. It's not needed. But yeah, check the package sizes. Um, I'm not sure if I have any on this one at the moment, but uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah. Here is one where you can see the package is 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 uh, over 100 gig, uh, and this is for uh, the, the new UP updates, and that's a lot to, to push out. Mm -hmm. so. um, Matt, Matt did have a follow up that I dropped into our chat. Uh? Yeah, distribution manager failed to connect to the distribution point. Uh, that could be networking issues, could be firewall issues, it could be uh, remote WMI access issues. Uh, could be that the site server simply don't have permissions uh, to the DP admin group or something like that. But uh, 
uh, errors like that, I, I would suspect network issues more than anything. Hmm. Or if the DP fell out of the domain or something. <laughs>